Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very big surprise, especially for those people who are Bridgerton obsessed. A couple of months ago, I decided to get the Once Upon a Book Club Bridgerton box, and it arrived. It took so long, <laughs> to be honest, but it's so big. <laughs> I love it. I opened it, I saw the books, but it has a lot of things on the side, like gifts and items, and I haven't seen like any of them. So I'm really excited about opening it with you guys. So let's go into the box. This is so big. Can you actually see how big it is? Like it's so heavy. I'm going to actually try and open it. Oh! Look at that! I was waiting to get, um, I was waiting to open the box when the season 3 uh, Bridgerton came out because I always do this reading blog where I um, analyze the book, analyze the show and then talk about the differences and the similarities but season 3 seems to be taking longer than the other two seasons to be on Netflix so and I think we're gonna be waiting until June which is not awesome because I will love to watch this season right away. So the first thing that we have here is a compare and contrast book with TV show um, kind of form and it's so cool. Ah! You can see it there. It also has a Little Whistle Down Society Papers bookmark and one quote that must be inside of the Bridgerton books. This is so cool! This is going to, I'm going to use it on my reading blog, the one that I was talking about. The first book that I see is To Sir Phil with Love, and I am in love with these editions. The only sad part is that they do not actually have any end paper art. Well, it does, but it's not with the characters. I wish they had characters. Maybe I should do that. So here is To Sir Phil with Love. We also have. When he was wicked. Ah, oh, look at that color. Look at that. I love it. We we'll also have in his kiss. Oh, another glorious edition. Some in paper. That's the only thing that I don't really like. And finally, the last book we have is On the Way to the Wedding, which a little bit like has a little bit of dust I think but the same the only thing is the color and that illustration right there let's see what the objects are um each book so what uh once upon a book club does is that they send you the book and then every like they send you an item where you that you need to open when you get to a certain page. So if you get to page 47, there should be an item that is meant for you to be, for you to open that item on page 47. I have read all of the books in the Bridgerton series, so I'm not, well, I do reread some of them, but not all of them. So I'm not planning on rereading them and then opening the items. So I'm just going to open the items right away now. Let's see. So we have, this beautiful bag that I'm going to use and it says on the way to the wedding page 97 so if I were to read the books I would stop on page 97 and open this and let's see what it is I'm so excited oh my god look at this these are the cutest this is so cool I love this. I love the color. We have this other bag. Um, is from When He Was Wicked, page 70. And I think these ones are, yeah, soft. <laughs> but it has like la Lady Whistle down all over. I like that blue. Next, we have To Sir Philip With Love, page 15. Ah. I'm so angry with myself because I read the books before. Oh, I should have waited, but still, I wanted to read the books so fast. So we have this paper. 
letter opener <laughs> we have this letter opener it's so good it doesn't look cheap either oh my god it looks like a real letter opener that's so cool we also have on the way to the wedding page 327 and let's see Ooh. Ooh, okay so I think this is one of those things to that they used to use before to put the candles out like this camera okay then I don't know what would I use this for so I think I need to do a little bit of research to be able to use them because I am going to use every single item that I get from this box because it is magnificent. Next we have When He Was Wicked, page 320, and it says two of two. So I'm guessing that there is something else. Okay, so it says it's still the tea. It is pink. And it's so beautiful. It has this beautiful pattern so beautiful but i don't know what it is i think it's where you put like the tea i don't know what this is but we're going to okay we're going to investigate later we also have in its gifts it says page 375 oh my goodness Look at this! I love this! It doesn't look like it's really expensive, but it's it's nice. Isabella and Sio, Luxury Jewelry. Oh, okay. I think that I, I do receive a lot of subscription boxes, and I think that of all of them, this one is one of the ones that have the nicest stuff <laughs> um but it also it is not as cheap as the other ones you do not receive it every single every single month it's more like a limited edition book box or something like that they do have a oh okay so we have is in his case page 290 another item and i think this one is <gasps> oh this is a so cool Okay, so they give you this. It is a embroidery kit. They give you this image, the instructions, um, the things I use. I don't remember the name. And oh my goodness, this I think you put it right here. I've never done embroidery before. But I, I have seen it <laughs> in every single um, period show, movie, or whatever. Like in the 1994 version of Prime Pages. Prime Pages, I'm sorry. Um, they were always embroidering stuff. So, yeah, so you're supposed to put this here. That way it stays safe. If you put it. But I think it's the other way. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so this is not perfectly done. It's not like straight or not in the middle of it. But this is the way that you're supposed to put it. And you're um, supposed to like draw this with these things. This one is really big. It says, when he was wicked, page 320, one of two. So I'm guessing that this goes with this Ooh. okay so we have this so again a teapot I'm guessing it is a teapot we have this is a teacup oh I love it let's take this out Ooh. Okay, so let's see if I can actually make sense of it. Mm, okay, and then this. 
Maybe. Like this? I have no idea how this goes. Yeah, I'm going to have to research a little bit because I do not think that this is the way that it's supposed to go. But still, I love the teacup. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Finally, the last item that we have is Susan Fill It With Love, page 105. Okay, it says Seed Static Kid. Okay, so you do have some planters and some dirt. That one that you put like water, um, you put like this in water and it grows a lot. You have some, <laughs> you have broccoli, carrot, tomato, snap pea. You also have the seeds, this must be, yeah. So this is the instructions and in this package over here, you have the seeds. I really like the box and uh, the items. I think this one is so good for me because I do have my own garden and I love planting stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy with this item and um, even they're so small that and they're so easy to grow because I have had some other started, um, seed planters like that and even if you live in an apartment I used to live in an apartment and I could also um, grow plants or seeds in that apartment and it wasn't like a really big apartment I also didn't have many windows I only have like two because two, uh, plants do need some to grow so even if you live in an apartment and you have these bags, you can use that and grow plants from those seeds. And sometimes they do work. I hope that they are good and they do work. Um, but again, I did like all of the items. I hope you too. I wanted this box more because of the books than anything else. I am extremely, extremely happy with them. I do have the other three books from the Bridgerton series and they're the same edition. I got them last year and I'm going to put this in my bookshelf right now. Actually, do you guys want to come with me? Let's go. Uh, you had never, you guys have never seen my bookshelf. I'm not going to show it to you because there is a lot of books and not right now. I'm going to do a video like a bookshelf tour video. Um, but let's put this books in the bookshelf because I did make a little bit of space for them that way they could be together <laughs> so let's go okay guys so as promised this is my bigger toy collection back here I have more of the bigger toy books I have all of the um, paperbacks <laughs> I read them a lot I have a lot of Julia Queen books they are they make guilty pleasure I do not care people tell me that she's not a good writer but I do have the special editions here, just like this ones. I have Romance and Mystery Bridgerton, An Offer from a Gentleman, The Viscount Who Loved Me, and The Duke and I. My two favorite are The Viscount Who Loved Me and Romance and Mystery Bridgerton, just because, I don't know, I just like them the most. I do have this um, The Viscount Who Loved Me heart bag that I bought uh, Target. It is a special edition from Target and I really liked it. I liked the color, but it is not the same as these ones. But I still have it there because it's beautiful and I love it. And like every responsible book lover, I tend to buy <laughs> different versions or editions of books that I love. So I made space. I don't think, I think I need more space um, in any case. <sighs> He's so hard. <laughs> I am also thinking about reorganizing my bookshelf, and what I'm going to do is like take one shelf or a couple of shelves 
and made them into sections like for different books for example uh, for example i do have a lot of books from Anna Green Gable i have the whole series i do have the shadow hunters series um i do have um the Court Prince series, I also have the Rickerton series, I have all of the classics, or almost all of the classics, the ones that I like. I do have The Witcher, and I do have some old books right here at the bottom that I read when I was a child or when I was younger, and I don't want to get rid of them because I brought them with me from Cuba, and it was a really, it was a really stressful thing to do. <laughs> So I have all the Rigatons special editions here. Now I have this ones, um, Haiti and Anna Green Gable, um, that I love on their vintage, and I'm going to put them on the Anna Green Gable shelf. But I don't have an Anna Green Gable shelf yet because I have not organized my bookshelves completely. Ah, this is a mess. I would like to have a lot of bookshelves and like a library room I don't I have books in my office I have books in my room I have books in my living room it is so stressful but yeah that is the video I hope that you guys really liked it if you do have the option of getting the box from Once Upon a Book Club please do because it is magnificent of course if you like Bridgerton and if you have any questions leave it down in the comments also if you have any comments um let me know 